Good afternoon or good evening when this video reaches you from Yanni BTV. Sending loads of love to you as usual and hoping your Xmas has gone the best it possibly can. Uh, pleased to tell you, getting better by the day. Um, but many I see out here um, not having the best Xmas by way of support and family around them and many struggling to make ends meet to even get a Christmas dinner on the table. Um, please to, I'm speaking on behalf of me I'm glad that these things probably for the first time in life are there for me um, to enjoy and I don't seem to um, pick up on it the, the gratefulness and the appreciative of having those dinners set out and places to go where you can enjoy with family members and friends uh, a decent Xmas, Xmas for, for those that believe in it and for those that don't but like I said there's not there's quite a few out there that won't be afford to have that luxury now following on from the a factor video many dm messages on my whatsapp and facebook from young ladies saying to me uncle yami you're, you're speaking about letters how important they are to men uh while while whilst they're serving their time with lady relationships or full-blown relationships of relationships with children involved and that kind of stuff and the loyalty shown by many many ladies to those men behind the door now if i look back we draw back on two or three experiences like in the middle 80s when i when i was really had my first taste of real love uh with my son's mother she was in sadly in that um fake life of crime as well doing what she was doing by way of grafting with clothes and checkbook and cards and that kind of stuff where I was an out-and-out -out burglar and robber. Uh, so we met at a time when we were both criminals and living off illegal um, earnings and materialistic um, to all extents and purposes. So she went to jail while I was away. But I remember I was so in love back then. I must have been a real dear old sweet boy because I used to visit her in police stations and prison and even waited for her at the gate. She was only away for a short period of custody. Uh, but the feeling of being on the other side of the coin uh, with that feeling. And I remember I stayed loyal because why? I really, really loved her and I didn't feel to go with anyone else. I was just wanting her to be back out, if you get what I mean. Now, many, many of you say, what's the difference because a lot of men that go to jail who get that support from ladies christmas cards visits having your children bought up having your canteen money having those letters that can mean so much and phone calls to a man whilst he's in there um and really demanding to some extent that the lady that you're with should be on her best behavior and those paranoid thoughts with reading between those lines of letters about she said she was going to be at this place to see her nan at nine o'clock and then halfway through the letter she says oh I went here at 11 and you're thinking you know overthinking that what was she doing then she's told a lie there because how could she have been there at seven and been there at nine or been there at nine and been there at 11 and in your mind plays overtime is she cheating or is it all lies you know you, you look for the worst case scenario from inside a prison environment now in my experiences right another one as well like in those i think before the millennium i had another relationships of some kind but i wasn't in love uh on the outside with her but when she, when i was away she was doing everything for me whilst i was in custody making sure that i got this and that but then she went away while i was serving that big big sentence and as soon as she went to prison, I remember I was sulking that she'd gone away. Like I was thinking, oh, hard done by that. Oh, I'm I'm without visits now. Me, 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 me. That she's not going to be there. I won't be able to get this. I won't be able to get that. And, you know, feeling kind of let down without feeling and thinking what she's going to be thinking while she's in custody. Because all the work she was probably doing on the outside while looking after me probably involved criminal activity to make it an easier time for me in jail only to find herself in jail and me uh, being as cold as ice and feeling sorry for myself and not really, you know, really being a, a proper letdown and hurting somebody's feelings by not corresponding and making her feel better about herself through a difficult time that many of us men have been going through time, time, time and time again for a lifetime. Now, the difference being, right, in my experience, is that the majority of ladies, the majority of ladies, right? Sorry, 
the majority of ladies, sorry, Nat Nat, the majority of ladies, in my experience, wait for their men, especially if there's children involved, they do the best they can, they have to pick up the pieces while we're away and give us all the support that we need as a man to make our times a bit more easier whilst we are away. Now, on the other side of the coin, in recent times where I've admitted in previous videos and podcasts that I promised my ex misses the world, you know, but at the time I actually believed what I was saying that I loved you. And when I get out, I'm changing my ways. And when I come out, I'm going to give you the world. I'm never going to do all this again. And da, 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 only to come out and not fulfill those promises. We touch on the fact as well that many ladies have been with men over a lifetime through many prison sentences. So you do one prison sentence, he comes out, he doesn't change his ways. He comes back out, he does the same thing, only this time you're not so much once bitten, twice shy, if you get what I mean. And you have vulnerable moments and you end up cheating one of those nights of some sort or being disloyal and a man is going to hold it against you forever, ever more. And then a man, through my experiences as well, and many other men that have been around, they can take these things really, really to heart when they've been let down behind the door by a lady. So much so that when they come out, they take it out, you know, the trust issues with ladies and, and it goes downhill completely that you never, ever, ever fully trust again. But what? how is it for a lady then? Well, is she going to feel without, you know, with with you being on the outside and she being on the inside, all right, you might do your duty by sending money and paying the odd visit here and there and looking after her. But do we be perfectly honest? Do we keep our, our thing in our trousers and think it's nothing to, to do a little bit of cheating, but still believe that we love them in some kind of way? But in hindsight, if we were doing it, if they were doing it to us, we would raise the absolute roof so that you feel like you never i've seen men out here now still holding it against their ladies from 20 30 years ago so i'll never forget the day that i went on the phone in whitemore or long and and you was doing this to wind deliberately wind me up you made my time harder but hey hold on a minute ladies have feelings too if you get what i mean so it's as difficult for them probably worse off for them than it is for us serving time because every time you leave a visit you know the kids have got to say goodbye or you know mum's coming up the hurtful feelings that are involved whilst you're away they got to worry how you're going to be coping in there as well as their life being on a standstill and coming to a halt just because their boyfriends husbands or relations are away you see what i mean but life goes on in the end you know everybody deserves to live um, a life that they deserve and not to, to, to be fooled uh, once or more than once in believing that everything that comes out of a man's mouth is going to be absolute. And many, many ladies since I've been out tell me the familiar story that, oh, I've done this for him, I've done that. Now I'll never forget. I won't be getting involved with, you know, like, you know, it leads, no wonder it leaves a bit of sour taste in the mouth as well. But how is it for ladies behind the door when they're not getting those letters when they're not getting those um you know them lovely bits of support that can make all the difference to them a lot of the time during those years as well i've done a lot of prison writing with ladies in prison as well made on make belief as well if you get what i mean only to find when they get out they completely forget about you and me too forgetting about them so we know but of course there are many relationships built from that kind of circumstance as well where they they meet outside and they become they live happily ever after but very few and far between because both parties are you know very very at their lowest vulnerable points behind the door and any kind of feelings that are given by way of affection and love and loyalty means so much to that individual because being in them places as i testify many times along the years leaves you very very lonely and leads you can lead you sometimes to doing your time extra hard as well uh, with believing that there's nothing for you on the outside world and there are many men that will be able to testify that 
and can lead to feelings of hard done by bitterness, cynical. Uh, you never think the good about anything really from the feelings that you experience from a lady's prison environment or a men's and you come out, a lot of ladies come out of those prison environments uh, feeling very, very vulnerable uh, and very, very lost and very, what's the other word as well that I was thinking about and embarking on relationships because what you get familiar with as well, I noticed a lot of times in the years, a lot of dysfunctional men choose dysfunctional women and a lot of dysfunctional women, especially around drugs and that kind of thing as well, go back to only what they believe they know, only in later life to find out when you get better or you have more time out or you experience um, better relationships from men or ladies that are not self-destructive and living that sad life. Uh, that brings nothing and pain for relationships. We know that I have a few followers where they go through their stuff together and been together, Dan and Laura, prime example as well, being together through thick and thin and still staying true and loyal to each other, you know, but, you know, it doesn't bring many, many happy endings when both are using at the same time or both are committing crime at the same time or both... Uh, or you've promised on one hand to be this way when you come out and they might have been the same but I say probably ladies possibly could have it harder than men <laughs> whether you agree with me or not I think a lot a lot of ladies uh, are more giving and more caring and more thoughtful around stuff as well I'm speaking of, of what I, I as a man now I will recognize the way that I feel about those things that I never used to feel uh, inside of me or I just didn't have the knowledge and the know-how to know that there was another person's feelings involved if you get what I mean but you know answering the question of what is wrong and that we get to the point if your man is cheating if you're cheating on a man outside and a man takes it so bad that he takes it out on you forever and ever or he, he doesn't find it in his heart, his heart to forgive you for moments of vulnerability, why is it then um, you know, a man can't forgive a lady if they make the same mistakes, if you get what I mean? Because throughout my experiences, I find on both sides of the coin um, that even by being honest, ladies, by confessing, doesn't really do you much favours, <laughs> I'm afraid. It's still going to hurt badly, the thought of lying there and your lady being wrapped up uh, with another man. If you get what I'm, your lady being wrapped up with another man, I remember how hurtful it felt for me. It's really, really a deep sinking feeling, especially if you love that person or, or you trusted them with all your heart. But then what? is the difference a lady will be feeling exactly the same thing in a vulnerable situation that her man outside is running amok and they're meant to come out and just forgive you and say yeah yeah you did this and you did that but don't worry I'll still love you enough to go back or blah 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 but then I also found since I've been out a lot of tit for tat where ladies are doing uh, what men do, you did that to me, well I got you back there so what even now and blah blah blah, very very confusing issue, very very deep one but I swing towards the lady's point of view on this if you get what I mean. So I'm hoping to come up in a minute with an escape one, sorry about the throat being a bit, bit dry today uh, but sending you massive massive love on the 27th, the day after Boxing Day. Let's get ready for the new year, all right? Sending loads of love.